Hey everybody, so today we are going to be talking about what is an alpha map. An alpha map is a grayscale image that specifies opacity on a layer. Anything in your image that is black will be transparent or invisible. Anything that is white will be completely opaque or visible. Depending on how light or dark the gray tone is will determine how transparent the image is. The darker the color, the more transparent the results. So making an alpha, you're first going to open up your Photoshop uh, program and then go to create new. And so alphas need to be squared. Uh, you can make larger alphas, but I feel like in this case, I'm gonna make a squared alpha at 512 pixels squared. So I type that in my dimensions. You can title at this point if you want. Um, you can also change the background color. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this black for now. Um, since I do want this to be, um, I want everything out, I want the black to be invisible. So now I hit create, and now I have this black squared, which is 512 pixels tall and wide. Okay, so what I need to do now is locate the image in which I want to, uh, to actually create into an alpha. So let's say if I'm working on these gloves here, I want to then take this line emblem will say that's the emblem that is associated with that uh, knight's clan or whatever it may be. I'm going to just copy this image and I'm going to go to Photoshop and then I'm just going to paste it. Control V is a shortcut to paste. And I just need to make this a little bit smaller. Um, I can do that with um, the, the V key will give me the transform tools. Um, so I'm just going to now center this for, for now. And then what I want to do is I want to eliminate basically all the white and black and just leave the red. So with this image uh, in here, paste it in, I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, select the image. I'm going to go to image at the top, adjustments, and I'm going to go to posterize. So what posterize is going to do is it's going to divide into a couple layers. I actually want to be in this case, I want to be three layers, I think. It'll be good. So I'm going to just type in there three. Oops. And hit OK. And so now I have three colors. I only have red, I have white, and I have black. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and select a color, or so select and go color range. I'm going to select my white. I'm going to select all that. In fact, I'm actually going to now go to select and expand modify expand that selection because you can see there's some parts that are kind of touching um, so I'm going to expand that maybe by about three or maybe four pixels we'll just go three pixels for now and that looks like it might be a little bit much so let's try this again and this time I'm only going to do two pixels so select modify expand two pixels and then we'll hit delete. And now as you can see here, it's for the most part pretty much right um, up to the edge. Now I do have some black pixels left, which isn't a big deal considering this is a black background. But what I do need to do is now I need to make this black and white. So I'm gonna go to my image adjustments. And I'm gonna go, uh, in this case, black and white. Let's see. I'm going to change my, I'm going to change all my sliders to 100% white. Although in reality, I probably can get by just changing my reds only since this was a red image. And I'm going to hit OK. So here I have a black and white alpha map. Um, and so when I go into my software, um, I can now use this as a mask. Now it is a little bit uh, kind of um, sharp edges here so I might go in and go filter I'm going to uh, Gaussian blur this a little bit and let's put this pretty low let's make something like 
three. And then we'll go back in filter and we'll sharpen this, see if that helps a little bit. Uh, so sharpen edges. And it does a little bit, but it's not perfect. Um, now with this being at the actual size, it would be much, um, it looks a lot, a lot more sharp because it's kind of further away. So in this case, I think it'd be just fine. So now here I have my black and white alpha that I can use to create a stamp on whatever material I may want. Um, anything that's white here will be opaque. Anything that's black will be see-through. So now this being done, I'm just gonna go to file, export, and I'm just gonna quick export as PNG. And then I can just title this um, maybe lion alpha. And now it is ready to go into whatever texturing software I might wanna use it for, whether I use it for game development or texturing.